Russia has officially declared the development of the cancer vaccine. A groundbreaking cancer vaccine has emerged from the country. Russian president earlier this year announced the testing of this vaccine. Мы вплотную подошли к созданию так называемых онковакцин, вакцин против рака и иммуномодулирующих препаратов нового поколения. И рассчитываю, что уже скоро они будут эффективно использоваться как методы индивидуальной терапии. The government has committed to cover all the expenses, which is estimated around 300,000 rubles per case. Andre Kaplan, the general director of the Ministry of Health of Russia, said that the drugs will be distributed free of charge to all the patients. It is uh, said to be rolled out to patients for free uh, starting next year. He said, this vaccine aims to treat cancer patients rather than prevent tumor formation. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in Russia, having accounted for approximately 192 deaths per 100,000 of the country's population in 2022. Similar to the rest of the world, cancer rates are increasing in Russia with more than 635,000 cases recorded in 2022. And in 2023, over 674,000 Russians were diagnosed with cancer for the first time. <laughs> However, this vaccine is not intended to prevent cancer, but rather to treat individuals who have already been diagnosed with the disease. The vaccine is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Instead, it is tailored to each patient's genetic and immunological profile, making it safer and more effective than many traditional therapies. Alexander Ginsberg, the director of the Gamalia National Research Center for Epidemiology and Microbiology, told that the vaccine's preclinical trials had shown that it suppresses tumor development. This vaccine uses advanced mRNA-based technology, which is a relatively new approach in cancer treatment. The way this treatment works is that the genetic material called RNA is extracted from each patient's body. Then the messenger RNA, that is the mRNA, is amplified and wrapped in newly designed fatty nanoparticles, making the tumor cells appear dangerous to the cancer patient's immune system. The researchers found out that in less than two days, the patient's immune system became responsive to the cancer cells and began attacking them. Unlike traditional vaccines that uses weak viruses, the mRNA system works by sending the messages to the cells to fight the cancer. While this vaccine offers significant promise, it may not be effective against all the cancer types. However, mRNA treatment may not be effective for all types of cancer. Russia has not yet disclosed the specific cancers it aims to treat, though skin, colon, and lung cancers are the most common in the country. Globally, other nations are also exploring personalized cancer vaccines. For example, in the United States, researchers have tested individualized vaccines for glioblastoma. In the United Kingdom, scientific trials are underway for a vaccine targeting melanoma. Despite the excitement, there are mixed reactions within the scientific community. Professor Kingston Mills, an immunologist at Trinity College Dublin, has shown doubt, saying that the clinical trial data is needed to confirm these claims. Additionally, the questions have been raised about the type of cancer the vaccine will be treating, the feasibility with the free distribution, and the compliance with the international regulatory standards. Russia's history in vaccine development is notable, but the experts suggest to be more caution until more transparent data emerges. This breakthrough could change the cancer treatment and bring hope to millions of patients. However, the efficiency and scalability is yet to be seen. Before going, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such research related content.